Hey guys, Neff here, and today we are looking at another challenge lock. Uh, right on here it says hogger than intended or hoger than intended. I'm not 100% sure on that, but the it does come with a key here, and it says hoger than intended, doctor, hogmade, hogmater? I think it says hogmater on there, so um, we got that challenge lock, boom. I've played with it for just a few minutes. It works smooth as silk. So um, this came as part of a three challenge lock set that I received from Lock Jockey. Uh, again, thank you. And uh, let's. I just feel like it's worthwhile if I'm going to be going through any of these to uh, feature them on my channel. Any challenge lock that I can manage to pick because, uh, you know, somebody put work into this. And I think it's great that this is a thing that we do and pass these around to people. So... Uh, if we can get this pick today, I'll put this up for a uh, claim for anybody that wants it. All right, let's get it in the vise and see how we can do. All right, guys, got her up in the vise here. I'm going to use just a small wiper insert that I twisted up into a tensioner. And then we've got this hook that I made with a laser and a Dremel. I'm going to start from the back and just see what we can do. Five actually moved a little bit, but not really a click. Four just clicked. Five just bumped up again without much noise. That was four. Okay, so four just clicked twice, and then I got some core movement. Now I feel a little bit more comfortable messing with the rest of this. One is binding. It's pretty loose now, so it may have just quietly said I don't want to mess with it further. Some with three now. Big click. Big click. Those are both three. That was four again with even more core rotation. Unless it went backward, because on three I did have to let off tension a little bit. So. All right, we're working on two now. One click, another click, another click. Is that another one for me, number two? All right, two and three actually I think are good. Check four and then five. That's my pick didn't get stuck. Let's check five. Everything's feeling tight. I just don't want to overset anything, so we're taking it nice and easy. I just heard a bunch of stuff drop while also getting a click on one, so I either overset that or did something good. And I hit four, and it brought me that false set back. Three feels like it's giving me counter rotation. So does two. I'll try two. All right. Two feels set. Three, I can't really tell. Four and five both aren't giving me much either. Ah, 
Ah, there we go. Two needed just a little bit more. We got her open. Well, that is a good day. All right. Let's get this thing looked at and pop it open. I have no idea what is in it. Alrighty guys, thank you for uh, being patient with that. So, it uh, looks like on the plug itself, there are two threaded chambers, which uh, makes sense with all that click action. On the mortise cylinder, when looking in it, doesn't look modified, um, which makes sense because that is permanent on there. Um, although that obviously could be messed with if somebody wanted to go that far. Looks like we have lots of serrations on here um, with stuff that is on the edge of spools. So that's why I was getting a little bit of counter rotation on stuff. So for our key pins, two, three, and five are standard. One and four have a slight uh, serration slash spool-ish because it, it's like a tapered serration. So it's kind of halfway in between. I meant to say one is like that. So four is like a pretty sharp serration, pretty wide and sharp. So kind of, I guess if you overset it, it could make you get stuck on that. Yeah, so that's not bad. Uh, the driver for number four is tapered as well. The rest of them, one, two, three, and five have... Uh, tapered serrations that make them act kind of like spools and kind of like serrations depending on which one you get here this one's kind of interesting it has one edge coming out there and then pretty wide sections I'm trying to look at it through the phone here or through the camera here let's see what we got on this one it just looks kind of interesting all right, yeah, so just multiple serrations and tapers on it that give it that all that click, 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 click. That's why I had to click through everything, um, and then the threading there that added to it. Nothing special uh, with the springs. They are all standard. So um, great job on this challenge lock, dude. Uh, it, was, it was a challenge. If anybody wants to lay claim to this, feel free to leave a comment. Send me a message, uh, and as far as the videos, any comments, questions, feedback, or anything, I am happy to hear it. Thanks, guys. You have a great day.